Shalom. Give all praise and all glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Bakadash, double honor to the apostles, the bishops, and brothers on down the millstone. Salutations to the whole field. Like. This is Brother Raiba Yamiat. Here to share another quick lesson. The inspiration for this lesson came uh, a few days ago when I was watching um, The Price of the Right. The Price is Right uh, TV show. And, um, you know, in the show, you know, you had the audience <coughs> dressed in different colors, the the paint and the color scheme of um, the set, you know, it was bright colors, green, blue, yellow, red, you know, orange, all these bright colors and, you know, with the lights and everything. So it made it look, you know, pleasant to, uh, you know, to be around. But then... You know, at the end of the show, you know, they, do, they did an extended version where the, uh, the host, you know, he walked, you know, to the back, you know, of the set. And it looked, you know, pretty much, you know, like a warehouse. It looked nothing like the set. It didn't look beautiful. It didn't look, you know, attractive. And when I saw that, you know, I mean, the spray hop on me, you know, to do a lesson. You know, and um, you know, I was thinking about that. <clears throat> I thought about you know places that I worked before. You know, um, you know, like let's say you have a grocery store, you work customer service, right? Any job where you work customer service, the front of the store where the customer walks in, right, is beautiful, it's well lit, it has nice or exciting or calming colors. Right to make the customer feel uh, relaxed and or protected when they come into shop, thereby giving the the company uh, you know more you know revenue, right? Because a comfortable, uh, happy customer is a customer that is gonna spend their money even on things that they don't really need. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So when you work at uh, these customer service places, the store, it'd be pleasant. But those of you who work in the back, who work in the warehouse, lifting those heavy brown boxes, the color is pretty much one color. It is either, uh, nine times out of ten, it's a dark color, right? The warehouse is, um, is brown, right? Or dark color, right? The boxes are brown right and all the the grunt work goes on there if you were to ask a customer uh to leave from the pleasant storefront to visit the back or the warehouse they wouldn't want to stay in the back there long because it is not pleasant it is not set up for commerce it is not uh set up you know for gain you understand and this is another reason why warehouse work is uh you know draining or tiresome right because there's no encouragement with colors and bright lights to be back there and i'll put the thumbnail of the prices right set so you'll see what i'm talking about those of you who haven't seen the show there the beauty of the lights and the colors and the excitement that goes on on the set so like i said when i thought about that you know i thought about the the downfall, you know, of man, you know, through the woman, and also the common MOTB, you know, the styles and the skillfulness, the art that they're going to use, you know, to deceive the people. And uh, Revelation, uh, Revelation, so like, yeah, Genesis 3 and 1 uh, came to mind. So I'm going to read it, uh, uh, share a scripture or two afterward, and close it out. So, Lord, will then it be a different until you like, right? So it says, uh, Genesis 3 and 1, it says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any uh, beast of the field which the Most High, our power, Yahweh, I wish I had made. And when you go into that word, subtle, it talks about being a, you know, crafty and thing, man. You know, subtle, shrewd, crafty, sly, sensible, right? Uh, prudent. Let's see if there's another word. Cunning. 
right? So I went in the Etiman online, I typed it up. It is has a sly, skillful, uh, clever, dexterous, wise, right? Uh, prudent. When it, but then when you go further down, it says uh, quick witted, you know, quick, you know, with a tongue, quick of words. You understand? A woman likes a quick witted uh, uh, man, you know what I'm saying? Especially these eaves, you start talking to them. You know what I'm saying? They're in your bed before you know it, especially if you have, you know, the gift of uh, speech and, you know, sweet words, you know. The woman likes to be deceived. Right? So he goes into insidious, crafty, meaning, me, meanly artful. You understand? So the serpent was killed with words, man. Right, just as how you know, as put the thumbnail that you're gonna see, <coughs> those colors are placed there skillfully to draw not only those that are on the set and the audience and those that are participating in the games, but also to keep those watching the TV screen continuously watching can't really take their eyes off of it. You understand? It says, and uh, and he said unto the woman. Ye had the most high uh, said he shall not eat of every tree of the garden and the woman said unto the serpent we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden the most high had said he shall not eat of it neither uh, shall he touch it, lest he die? And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Right? So he is skillfully uh, inserting uh, deceit, you know, and lies and a challenge. You know, the woman like a challenge uh, into her mind. Right? Verse 5. Uh, for the most I do it know that in the day ye thereof then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods knowing both good knowing good and evil verse 6 and I'll end it here and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant so you see just as how in the set for the price is right the, the scenery the set is pleasant right she saw that the the the, the fruit uh, for food was pleasant in her sight right <clears throat> it was in the pleasant desire a wish longings of one's heart loss loss appetite covetousness in a bad sense a thing desired object of desire right so it says loss covetousness right she saw that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat now for six you know it also goes in line with uh, James <coughs> chapter 1. It goes far as remember it saying in, in pleasant, the meaning for pleasant also goes into loss, it in desired covetousness. So this is a uh, <coughs> first select here. James chapter 1 of verse 5 it says, If any. Nah, this is not it. Uh, this is not it. Mm, let's see. Loss at conceived fifteen. <clears throat> this is James chapter one and verse fifteen. 
then when loss had conceived it bring it forth sin and sin when it is finished bring it forth death so because of the sin and the error in disobeying the most high over that pleasant thing right they end up dying dying later on because of their loss and because of their sin all right so the the serpent he used um artful words to convince her right that she needed to challenge the status the status quo you know what i'm saying <clears throat> and he made the the thing the fruit you know of knowledge uh beautiful to, to be had something that they never had before you know what i'm saying so the the serpent the physical counterpart of the in the devil right which is esau even he is gonna use or you know, he's gonna make the MOTB seem pleasant on two of the two thirds of amongst our people and the other uh, hidden nations. You know, ease of payment and commerce is just but a small number, man. He is gonna come up with greater things uh, to deceive the people and or create an environment of chaos where. The desire of the MOTB was not looked upon. Now it would be looked upon like, like, you know, a glistening of the eyes, you know, like a child that see it can be. You know, see what I'm saying? So, you know, I just thought about that when I saw, <clears throat> you know, the Price of Right um, TV show. And it led my thoughts, you know, into other things. So regardless of how beautiful, you know, the MOT, B may look, whatever situation or circumstances uh, that you may have, you know, I mean, pray that, <clears throat> you know, I mean, you don't have the, the liking or the desire to receive this thing, the MOT, B. Right? Have a fear for your Bashim a relationship and a love for him that your desires would not be towards uh these things in the end so pray fast and offend less love when this quick lesson was edifying until you let until you next time shalom